Hello everybody, Friday morning. Gosh, where has the week gone to? This week we've been thinking around the church. Uh, I've said a few controversial things. Uh, one of the things that I said early on was that if you're looking for the perfect church, then I suggest you don't look at the United Church. Um, we are a community of God's people, but we are far from perfect. Chlua May. Um, another thing that I, I, I said during this past week is that um, this thing of people saying, I don't need the church, and I hear that quite often. I can get on quite happily without being part of the church. Um, it's, it's hardly the Bible's view of what it is to be a Christian. Just think about that. Now, I know that's got a whole lot of thumbs down and that's okay, you know, the YouTube thumbs down means people are, are thinking. But the Bible speaks of the church as a community, as a family, uh, as the body of Christ. It's a collective idea. And if we think that we can mar Hanan without the church, okay, I accept that there are people who cannot get to church. But it's not the thinking of Jesus if we imagine that we can be Christians apart from the church. Maybe you can, but it's not what Jesus thought of the subject. Um, so I might, I might just say thumbs downs are okay. Uh, it doesn't really bother us. But the, the thought that we have tried to convey this week is that the church of Jesus is God's creation, far from perfect. And it is a church that he wants to see strengthened. He, it is a place where he wants his love and mercy and kindness to be experienced. If Jesus can't be everywhere physically, at least he can challenge his people, the church, to be doing and thinking and saying the things that he would say if he was right here standing in our midst in physical person. The Lord, believe it or not, loves his church and he gave himself for his church. So. Be careful about what you say about the church. Just speak gently, speak carefully. Yes, it may disappoint you, but don't judge. Just know that the church is very special in the heart of the Lord Jesus Christ. There's a mystery for all the inadequacies of our church. There is a mystery in coming together, the presence of Jesus in our midst, us taking the sacrament, the cup, the blood of Jesus, or the bread, the body of Christ, as Jesus said his people should do. I want you to be careful, and I want you to come back and be part and of of the church that has nurtured you and has strengthened you in your Christian walk. God be with you and I look forward to being with you next week uh, in next week's devotions.